to know what this is. Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope that you are doing super well. Welcome to my Booktubeathon TBR, which is completely different from what it was before because I didn't wait until Ariel released the challenges video. Yeah! So basically, I was super smart and I decided I would make a really ambitious TBR before Ariel released any of the challenges, and so it basically completely changed my TBR, but that is okay because it's still Booktubeathon time! If you don't know what Booktubeathon is, basically it is a readathon for Booktube, and there are a lot of fun video challenges and reading challenges, and it's just so cool. And if you want more information, I will link Ariel's video down below, as well as the Booktubeathon YouTube channel, which has any information you could ever want about it. So definitely go check those out if you are interested in participating. And you still have time! It's a couple days away! It is July 14th to the 20th, and I am so pumped up! Are you pumped up? We are pumped up! Ooh. The first challenge is to read a book with pictures in it, and for that I am reading Death Note by name I can't pronounce, so I'm just not even gonna say it because I would screw it up too bad. I'll put it right here. This is the name, right here. Jesse so kindly lent this to me, and I'm so excited because I've been wanting to watch the Death Note anime, so it'll be a lot of fun to get into the manga before I get into the anime, and I just had hair flying, because this is my life. The second challenge is to start and finish a series, and I'm going to read Percy Jackson for that, the whole Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. I thought about picking something easy, like a duology, but I looked at my shelf and I was like, you know, I really want to reread Percy Jackson. So I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna try. I read all the Mortal Instruments in a week, besides one. Who says that I can't do this? I can do it, I believe. This also completes the Read a Book to Movie Adaptation Challenge, and I will either be watching The Lightning Thief or The Sea of Monsters. I haven't seen The Sea of Monsters, so I'll probably end up watching that one. I know I have not heard great things, but I just wanna see for myself. Another challenge is to read a book that someone else picked out for you, and for that I have Proxy by Alex London. Scott at Scott Plays, Scott Reads, whatever. Ever. picked this out for me and I picked out one for him so thanks for picking that out for me Scott I appreciate it I'm really excited to read this book because I've heard nothing but good things and it also completes the challenge to read a book with red on the cover because there is red all over this cover so doubled up those challenges everywhere like I do the next challenge is to read a book from a genre you've read the least this year and for that I'm going to read Argo by Antonio Mendez this is nonfiction and I'm pretty sure I haven't read any nonfiction in a a really 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 long time so any genre in nonfiction I will not have read at all this year so that makes it the least read so I'm excited to pick this up because I loved the movie just in case I can't get into Argo I have a backup and that is popular by Mara Van Wagenen I've heard amazing things about this as well, and it's also nonfiction, so if I can't get into Argo, I will just pick up Popular instead and, you know, replace the books with the books. <coughs> the last challenge is to read seven books or to read 300 pages a day, and let's count my books, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom, shake the room. Got that challenge covered. That completes the challenge section of my TBR, which is already pretty ambitious. However, I am going to also add in All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doer. I am going to pick this up whenever I finish all of those, assuming that I do finish all of those, because I have really been wanting to read this, and also Jenny has been harping on me to read this. I will do it eventually, sometime this month, Jenny. I have been told I need to take my time with that, so if I need a quick read at the end, these are also my alternate books, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, The Dark Minds by Alexandra Bracken and Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Alir Sainz. Words I can't say. So if I have time or I'm not getting into one of the books that I'm reading or all that we cannot see, I just want to sit and soak it in and move on to something else while I think about that. These are my other backups. Beautiful books. So that was my Booktubeathon TBR. I hope you enjoyed it. I've loved watching everybody's TBRs because it's just so fun to see what everyone else is going to read. I'm just really excited for a readathon because I love readathons. I did a couple earlier this year and they were just so much fun, especially the 24 hour readathon. That was amazing. I'm just really excited to basically abandon all responsibility and read with a purpose because when I usually abandon all responsibility, I feel bad. But because this is a readathon, I don't feel bad because it actually has a purpose behind it. 
It's probably still not the best idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> if you're reading any of the books that I'm reading for the readathon, let me know, or just let me know what you're reading, and we can all keep each other encouraged via Twitter and just I'll have a grand old time doing this booktube a thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye! Do you like my hippie look? I like my hippie look, flower child.